Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see how to create a document type in web method IO integration. So in order to do that, I'll just create a sample project. I'll call this as a sample project and I'll just create it. So once it's created, you'll have many options like uh, creating a workflow, creating a flow service. There you have some tab called configuration. In that you have a flow service. Under that you have something called document type. So once you have created a document type structure, then you can say use the same thing in your flow service. So for example, I wanted to create a document type. So there are two options and uh, what kind of structure you need. So you wanted to create it from the XML uh, schema definition or you wanted to build it from the scratch. I'll just give OK. I'm going to build it from the scratch and I wanted to save this document type as employee. There I wanted to define the field which is a employee name and then employee ID and then I can say employee department. So this way I can save it. So this is the employee document type. So this way you can create a document type. So I'll just go to flow services. I'll click a flow service tab and I'll just create a flow service now. And I'll call this as a employee service. And I'll just click some So for example, I'll just try to use some service log custom message and then I'll try to map the value where we have some message. I'll try to hard code that value. Uh, hi, this is from custom message and I'll save this one. So what I want to show it here, mainly in the input output tab, right? If I want to do reference my document type which I have created. See here, document reference. Choose a document reference. You will have an option to see your employee document. See here, those values are coming in your input. So now in your service, if you wanted to map that data, right, you can send it to like this. So that whatever I hard coded, right, I will I can remove this one and I'll save this one. For example, I wanted to map my employee name here. Okay. I'll drag and drop it here, which is your input document structure, right? Okay, so it's saying value set already because I have set some hard coded value, right? So I think it took like uh, uh, empty value. So I'll just uh, remove that and I'll save this one. And then I'll try to map this value. Okay, I think I have to go and explicitly delete only. See here, set value, remove value set, right? I'll remove value set and then I'll try to map name value to this message. Now it's getting mapped and then I'll save this one. So whatever I'm going to send it in a employee name, right? That's going to get logged here. And then I'll just close this one and I'll try to go back and I'll try to run it and I'll just open this one and I'll run it using this run option. See here, it is asking your document type, which is your employee document type, right? So I'll just say tech lightning here and then I'll run it because other fields we are not using it. And now see the run is successful and the message field, right? It's nothing but your log custom message field. So that is also coming there properly. So in this one, we just tried how to create a flow service and how to refer our whatever document type which we have created, right? So that alone we have seen and how to map that to our output. So that we have seen today. And this is uh, just a document type, how to create a document type, how to refer the document type from our flow service. And I'll cover one more thing now. Uh, so mainly that is called, uh, that is nothing related to flow service and document type. So that is a kind of a branding which you can do for your method IO integration. How do you do it? You just go to your profile click settings and click this white label which will have some theme okay so as of now the theme is empty so which will in turn use our default theme for our web method io integration i'll create a new theme for example the now the primary color it's selected to blue and similarly you have some image which is this logo which you wanted to change it you can change it for example i wanted to change it to some other image i'll just take this uh, tech lightning image see here the tech lightning image is coming here 
similarly if you wanted to change some other color right so this color as of now this background is blue right if i wanted to change it to some other color so i'll just take uh, some color black color hex value i'll just take it this is the value and i'll save this value and i'll just go and uh, change my primary color similarly see here it's a preview it changed the color right and if you want to change this icon right uh, fav icon also you can change it so fav icon is nothing but whatever it's coming in your title of your browser right so this icon it's nothing but this one right and uh, similarly if you wanted to change your button theme and other stuff you can change that as well so now what i'll do i'll save this theme and I'll it's asking a theme name which is mandatory i'll just say uh, this is my um, tech theme i'll select it and i'll just click save now we have to apply so you just click this icon preview theme right and you just click that see here the icon got changed and the background color everything is changed to specific to our environment so this way you can change uh, to your theme and again right so if you wanted to go back also not a problem you just go and click this one and delete theme delete and it will put back to your older theme so this way you can brand or uh, you can do some kind of uh, rebranding for your environment thank you